page four under the stoichiometry portion of our program. This first one calls for a complete B, C, A table. Um, they probably all do. I'm going to do a complete one just for the first one. One of the things I'm going to do, I'll just draw a little line so I can do some. My calculations will come down below here. And I'm going to do my B, which stands for before. C is what changes. And then after, when we're all done, uh, trying to go review those concepts of what a BCA table is. Because once you understand them, you kind of get away from doing them. With stoichiometry, you just look at the ratios. Nice thing is we already have a balanced reaction. Lead sulfide reacts with oxygen gas to produce lead, oxide, and sulfur. If 785 grams of oxygen were consumed using this chemical reaction, how many grams of sulfur dioxide would be produced? So, our, really our main things is how many grams of this stuff, sulfur dioxide, are going to be produced. And what we're going to know at the beginning is this stuff, grams of oxygen. So I guess we can just assume right away that we have excess of this. Everything else we can figure out how much we're going to need, how much we're going to get. So there's boxes to be figured out here, here. But it all stems from how much oxygen gets consumed. They don't tell us how many moles, and we can't put anything except moles in a BCA table. 785 grams of O2 and one mole of O2, not O, but O2, O, it would show you 16, O2 would be 32 grams. So 785 divided by 32, looks like we're dealing with 24 and a half moles. So that's what goes here, 24.5. That's 24.5 moles. So now we check the ratio. This is like a recipe. Up here, the recipe says, if I started with three moles of this, I would get two moles of this, two moles of this, and I'd need two moles of this. All of those numbers are smaller. So I didn't start with three. I started with 24.5. So I've got to look at the ratio. I'll just do a little calculating down here. Uh, I'll just do it up here. If I have 24.5 moles and 3 makes 2, so we're 2 thirds as much, 24.5 times 2 thirds. I'm taking this 2 divided by that 3 because that's the ratio. 24.5 times 2 thirds 24.5 times 2 divided by 3 equals 16.3. Just going to round. 16.3. I'm going to only be able to make 16.3. Whoops. I'm putting that in the wrong spot. At the beginning, I have 0. It's going to change by 16.3 for a grand total of 16.3 moles at the end. Well, the nice thing is all those others are 2s. I... Also, I'm going to get, I'm starting with zero of this, and I'm going to get 16.3 moles of this. And it's going to require, because it takes two PBSs for every three oxygens, it's the same two to three ratio, it's going to require 24.5 uh, moles of lead sulfide to begin, oops, I'm sorry, 16.3 also moles of lead 6.20 in the morning, forgive me, 16.3 moles there. Remember, though, the big thing that I'm worried about is this. Um, if we are really going to use up all of those at the end of this, we're going to have zero. So there's a complete BCA table. I won't do that for all of them. It just isn't necessary. I'm looking at what's the important stuff. The important stuff was how much oxygen do we start with and how many moles of this do we end with. So I'm going to end up with 16.3 moles of SO2. Well, one, let's see, one mole of SO2 caught myself because it's got to go on the bottom so that moles and moles cross off. And I figure out what two oxygens and a sulfur weigh. That's going to be 64 grams of SO2. 
when I multiply that together, I'll get 1,045.3 grams of SO2. That's my answer. It's a long BCA table. The next one, percent yield. Not only do we figure out how much we should be able to make. See, that's what theoretically we should. Sometimes you go to the lab every time. You go to the lab, and when you really do it, you find out you get more than you're supposed to or less than you're supposed to. Uh, it, so theoretical is based on what you should get. Your actual or your laboratory data is what you really get. This will have them both, and we'll have to figure out both a theoretical and an actual, and we'll just see what percentage of the theoretical we actually got. One more time, it's a BCA table, but this time I'm going to pick through and figure out what's the important stuff. If I have... 5.9 grams of SO2, sulfur dioxide, I'm gonna, and I'm reacting it with excess oxygen. Let's see. So we're going to, that's going to be excess. This is what I'm going to know at the beginning. And all they're going to be really interested in is how much of this stuff am I really going to get. So I don't have to look at every single box on this one. Um, okay. So you never put grams in a BCA table. It's a mole ratio. So I got to figure out how many moles this is. One mole of SO2. That goes on top because I'm changing it to moles. Let's see, two oxygens is 32 plus another 32 is 64 grams of SO2. So not even a whole, yeah, much less. 5.9 out of 64 is only 0 0.09. Um, 0 0.092, I'll just round to, or 0 0.092 moles of SO2. I kept one, two significant digits because that's what they gave me. I'm not going to be picky about significant digits, but that's why I went to 0 0.092. I'm starting with 0 0.092 moles of this stuff. Check the recipe on this. Two moles of this will give you two moles of this. I mean, if I do this the long way, I'll say, well, 0 0.092 moles times 2 moles of SO3 come from 2 moles, but that's a 1 to 1 or a 2 to 2 ratio. So if I'm going to start with 0 0.092, I'm going to get 0 0.092 in this case. 0 0.092 moles of SO3. So how much does 0 0.092 moles of SO3? Three way. It's different stuff. SO3 is 48 plus 32, which will be 80. One mole of SO3 is 80 grams. That's going to equal 7.375 or 7.38. Yeah, I'll just keep this grams. Okay, that's what we should get. That's our theoretical. Grams SO3. Label that to make sure that everybody knows what I'm talking about. What did they actually get? You gotta go read because we didn't go to the lab, but it forms. It forms. So it doesn't say the word actual, but it kind of could or should. It actually forms 7.5 grams of sulfur trioxide. 7.5 grams of SO3. What percentage? Well, we got 7.375. Out of the, let me just double check this, 7.5, i got to turn that around. Actual divided by theoretical equals a percent yield. So what does that look like? They actually got 7.5 grams. They were only supposed to be able to get 7.375 grams. When I multiply that by 100, it should be over 100%. 7.5 divided by 7.375 equals times 100 equals 101.7. 101.7 grams of SO. Nope, that's not grams. 101.7%. 101.7%.